going on, everybody? Welcome to Lifestyle Live. I have with me Jeff Kripe, Amelia Kripe. You guys know each other? Oh, yeah. <laughs> Something like that. Something like that? Okay, I, I thought you might. So Eagle Creek Apiary is in the house. These are the two behind it. And Amber, I think it has something to do with honey. I yeah. think. I'm, I'm not quite a sure, but I think honey. it has something to do with honey. A little something sweet. Hey, do you see what's happening over here? What's that? I just want to show you. Circles. I just want to show you. We are taking the concept of a photo booth to a whole new level this morning. Kenya Cannon is here. Come on over here, lady. She is with Cannon 360 Photo Booth. She is making all this magic happen. It is capable of creating creating an image while surrounding the subject matter. George Mallet, I am told we can fit three people on this thing. So I'm thinking, Randall, me, and you. Okay, Give I'm in. Shot. <laughs> Let's do it. Hey, the Harris Hoosier Park Pacing Derby is this Friday in Anderson, and the greatest pacer in generations is coming to town to take on a talented field of standard bred steeds. We're talking about world record holder Bulldog Hanover with Hoosier Park's Emily Gaskin straight ahead. You're excited. Well, I am. I just, you know, it's, <laughs> just a little bit. We're at a period in time when, when, when interest in horse racing is waning. And That's we have got true. two historic horses right now. Yes. That horse, Bulldog okay. Hanover. And Tell me about it, George. <laughs> T tell me all She's about this She's making fun horse. of me, folks. <laughs> no, I'm and, not. And the I, other, I love this. And the other horse is, of course, Flightline, the but thoroughbred. You get very spirited and passionate yeah. because you were talking about this horse yeah. doing some things that maybe people didn't expect. He, he, broke, he broke the world record. Uh, and it was a record everybody thought would stand forever. Oh, wow. And, and now he just trucks around the country, goes to every track, and takes on all cumbers, and mm -hmm. he whoops them all. It's amazing. And these are good horses. <laughs> he's how taken old, on how old is he? He's four, he was 29, so he's four years old. So is that, yeah. is that like prime age then for a horse when it comes to stuff like this? Uh, w with trotters, and I'm less knowledgeable than, yeah. uh, than I am about thoroughbreds. Yeah. Yes, yes, it is. So I have a guess, perhaps, because our question of the day, we're asking people to show us like one of their favorite pictures in mm -hmm. your phone. I'm betting one of yours has to do with a horse, perhaps? Oh, oh yeah. Oh, there he is. That's, <laughs> that's my little cowboy Colton on his horse, Noble Essence. And she, incidentally, Aww. is a direct descendant of Kentucky Derby winner, Northern look. Dancer. So, oh, look at that. That's a beautiful yeah. horse, She's too. She's got a good and motor a on her. little kid. Oh, okay. my goodness. So I commented, too, this is my little one on the way. So, of course, currently, this is my favorite picture yeah. in my phone. He's this already little... cute. <laughs> George says it's a he. <laughs> Randall says it's a That's she. A I'm going to let you guys know soon, maybe okay. in a couple of weeks. <laughs> <laughs> and then Brett, oh, of course, Brett Butler's on our show today. He says two of my favorite miracles and memories, and Uncle reading to his little angels. Isn't that oh, sweet? Look at her fantastic. little face with her little hands on her cheeks. <laughs> oh, that's adorable. Oh, that's so cute. Okay, so we have a few more in there. Hopefully we can share some more of those coming up in just a little bit. But comment, show us your pictures, let us know what you think, and we'll go from there. I'm show the grandkids on TV. Show, show them off, yeah. right? The grandkids, the cats, the dogs. The rainbows you take, the nature scapes, whatever you like, whatever is in your phone. How many pictures do you have in your phone right now? Uh, it's thousands. Yeah, me too. It really is. It just uh, adds up. And I, I bought that extra whatever, yeah. you know, so extra that I, storage. I don't have to edit. I just save yeah. everything. So <laughs> Keep it's it simple. Dangerous. Keep it simple. So. All right, you hang here. All right. I'm going to go over and talk to Randall because, Randall, it is all things honey. Come on, And the on. house today with a father-daughter duo. Yeah. I love this. The Cripes. <laughs> I love you guys. Yeah. Hi, can I squeeze in here? Yeah. First of all, I need to know, because uh, I didn't get a chance to Google it, Apiaris. Apiaris. <laughs> Apiaris. Apiary. A oh, place oh, well, where bees are kept. So yeah, okay. So, so we have now. 31 locations on the north side of Indianapolis. Oh, wow. We're serving seven community farmers markets. Love but it. really from their backyard where we've purposely placed those bees within proximity yeah. to that market. I'm that so sound, That sounds better than Google. It does. So I'm, I'm, glad, yeah. I'm glad he explained it. <laughs> yeah, and Eagle Creek. I, I'm near Eagle Creek because I live in Brownsburg, so I travel by that every day. Where are you guys in proximity? So our farm actually lies right in the middle of the basin, the 163 oh. square acres basin cool. where when it rains that all travels to then past the reservoir. Yeah, right. that is awesome. And you brought some goodies for us yes. today. Yeah. I mean, this isn't just honey because you're using your honey to make other things. Tell us about what you brought here. Millie. Oh, so we brought all the goods. 
we do this to help people with their allergies. Oh, okay. So we separate our honeys out seasonally. So we've got our wow. spring and we've got our fall with us today. Summer. Oh, is that the summer up there? Yeah. <laughs> Come on, Dad, tell her. <laughs> so it's more sweet and floral in the springtime because of those tree blooms that those honeybees are collecting off of. The oh, summer, yeah. you get into that clover influence. Mm -hmm. And then fall time, it's all wildflowers. So it's really, really rich yeah, and caramelized. I love it. Oh, that's so and we do a lot of infusions too. So I have been studying to be a medical herbalist. So okay. we've added in okay. different Fancy. florals, yeah. herbs, and hot peppers into our honey. Oh, I would love this one. So. Habanero hot yeah. honey That is right up your alley. Spicy. I love I feel spice. Like this is kind of for us. Look at it. Habanero hot. So what made you want to mm -mm -mm. take this and then go the medical herbal route? What made you want to do that? Because we're trying to help people with their allergies and mm. we really are focusing on the health aspects yeah. of the honey. Okay. I wanted to teach that a step further. Um, as a health Ooh. coach, I, I wanted to get more educated. I love it. Do you think maybe people? some people don't realize the health benefits and honey? Because my husband and my daughter are both dealing with allergies right now. Mm. Yeah. And I th he's like, I'm taking this, I'm taking that, but maybe it's more of a natural thing oh, that it really is. helps the body. It is. That local combatant means that five to seven, even 12 miles radius from your location of work or home yeah. is being affected by a presence of a particular floral source. And when it's in bloom, it's giving off an airborne pollen count. Oh, so when that yeah, pollen yeah. count reaches a threshold that challenges your system, your system then goes into a histamine production. So the, the body itself wow. trying to protect itself from a miscommunication yeah. with the environment is what's causing the symptoms. She, she read our minds. Yes, yeah, she did. She's, getting, yeah. she's, she's like, they've got to taste some of this. So we started pulling honey every time we went to the hives, whether it used to be a little bit yeah. or whether it was a lot, depending on the time what of the year. And then it's all about the bees, right? We're seeing some pictures here yeah. about really what all goes into this. A lot of people, when you think of bees, you're like, oh, no, 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 no. But they really do do so oh, much for oh, us. Oh, that's so much for us. We could never do the jobs that they do for us. If you would have yeah. told me I was going to get this much smarter doing the honey segment, I, I don't know if I would have believed you. That's delicious. <laughs> this is crazy. That's really good. Oh, and that's, oh yeah, yes. I already had mine, so I'm a little heady right I now. fell in love with honey back in the day when you were kids. I think we got to try, the, can we try that? Winnie the Pooh? Do you want that the hot? Habanero? You want the hot? No, it wants the hot. That's right. <laughs> Let's do it. <laughs> Am I ready? I don't know. No, I'm you, good. We're interesting type of eye contact with me just now. Yeah, but you know what this one is? We got a scorpion pepper honey very hot we're kind of on this little dare streak if you haven't been watching <laughs> <laughs> with spice okay which oh, one is this just this is a drop habanero, habanero. <laughs> okay. we say start with a he drizzle glaze a and work your way up does it It'll change the way you feel about oh, your favorite dish a oh, black and salmon for me okay i'll try a little something something right how we doing oh Oh, she like, starts off nice. Look, and it, she's like giving me a tiny little bit well, yeah, she did that for a reason she did that for a reason knows mm-hmm yeah, it kicks. Bruce Lee style. That's got to get. Yeah. Oh, yeah. The power, yeah, of, <laughs> the power of capsaicin. Oh, it's an amazing. Can we try the scorpion? Yeah. Before, what do you think? <laughs> I mean, I'm in. <laughs> Mine's in. Yeah. I'm in. Really oh, two these, different experiences. Oh, yeah. Male Colin. part of the flower. Okay. A lot of help there. Uh, equivalent what, to 82%. What do you do with this? Think of it like Mother Nature's multivitamin plus. Wow. Uh, not only besides your, all your minerals and vitamins, it's a wonderful source of probiotics and prebiotics. It has a known yeah. blood protective qualities. Then to you guys it. got candles too, and then these wax right? products coming out of the hive. Oh, oh nice. That's so cool. cool. Yes. Okay. Yeah. Does it ever surprise you what you guys can do with honey? Does it ever surprise you, like, you know, is, is any of these like, wow, I didn't know we could do that? Hmm. Yes. It's, really? <laughs> really? Like all the time. Yes. It's an yes. ongoing lesson. Uh, really they continue is. to teach us. I love it. I love it. Okay, well, here we go. Scorpion. Let's see right, it. Let's do it. Let's take a look. Oh, you're you going to. Oh, Randall. Don't, oh, don't, don't, don't worry about me, Millie. I'm on the Scoville. I'm a professional, Millie. Don't worry about me. Randall, that, that is a big old bite. There's a nice, friend. sweet delay. Should I get there. another spoon? I don't want to, like, dip in your. Oh, you're good. We take it home it. and eat it at my house, honey. It's all good. I mean, Randall, you took a hefty Come amount. closer. Come closer. <laughs> do you shed a tear? I'm not going to shed a tear. I'm going to tell y'all it's real. Well, it's, just so you know, when you do cook with oh, these, oh. you put them on like salmon and stuff like that. It makes it more of a mild heat. Woo! And, salmon. Uh, and, 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 and water. <laughs> and milk. I need to find those. Um, I, I didn't even take all of mine. Wow. Yes. My eyes are watering a little bit. <laughs> yes. Hey, George. Yours, I think yours are you, too. <clears throat> you want to get in on this, George? <laughs> <laughs> Woo. Hey, they told me. They tried to think. I think I got the good assignment today. <laughs> Coming up next, the days of two-dimensional photo booths are long gone. In a moment, we will show you Kenya Cannon's way cool Canon 360 photo booth that offers 360-degree images. We might just blow your mind straight ahead. And coming up later, 
Every September morning, you are dressing your children in the latest kitty fashions while wearing worn drawers older than they are. What gives? Kitty correspondent Kayla Sullivan has a look at our parental fashion frustrations straight ahead.